correspondent, put your phone down long enough to explain to us uh, why Apple is worried about our addiction to their products. Yes, exactly. You would think that Apple would be introducing new products to make us be on our phones even longer. However, Apple's really in the business of selling us the phones, and what you do on those phones, not really their business. So Apple has come out with something uh, new in its iOS 12 operating system update that you'll be able to get in a couple of months. CEO Tim Cook has been beta testing it and says that he himself was surprised at how much time he spends on his phone. <laughs> Uh, a couple of new things that will be included in the new iOS screen time. It's something that will track how much time you spend on a particular app and also app limit that will let you preset the amount of time that you spend on each app. So you only want to spend 45 minutes on Facebook today. You set it that way and it will tell you when you've spent that much time and will kick you off so you can't get on there. Sort, of, set it, of, course, sort of like parental guidelines for adults. Yeah, it's it's like what do you need to do, you know, to t to step away from the phone? And you know, a lot of people have said, well, why would Apple be doing this? Why do they want to put us to put their phones down? Um, but but really, you know, Apple is saying that they have been hearing from a lot of people who have written to them, who have talked to them, saying that they're addicted to their phones and they need some help with digital detox. <laughs> So, I, I, so people, I'm so addicted to my phone, I need to write Apple and tell them to help me kick the, my phone habit. Well, that's what some people have said, and others are saying, okay, this is ridiculous. You are an adult, and you have the power to put your phone down. You have the power to put your phone in the glove box when you drive, right. or you can turn off your notifications. You don't need to have the little red bubbles popping up every single time telling you how many likes you got on your Instagram post. You don't need that. Um, but others say, I, I can't do it on my own. I need help. Yeah. I, I need help. It's, uh, it's like the Nicoderm patch or <laughs> well, the Nicophone patch. Well, uh, though, uh, though apparently there are, are some things parents are going to be able to use to help their children. Well, that's what app limit is, and that's what you could preset that amount of time. You could do that. Another thing it's going to let you do is sort of a do not disturb at night version where if you, you, know, if you wake up in the middle of the night, in the middle of the morning like us, you know, before the sun comes right. up. It's not going to do much good, but you can, you know, certain you can have certain time limits when it, you know, it's off. You're you're not going to be, it's not going to be sending you notifications, and it's not going to be, you know, constantly updating you, telling you what's going on, right? Because you need to step away from the phone now. Yeah, uh, that that's a real deal. What about Android phones? Anything anything there? Well, last month, Android phones, Google introduced a whole suite that it was also um, introducing. Same kind of thing, you know, letting you time how much you're on these apps. And it should be noted that a uh, Android phones have been a lot more open to these third-party apps that will track how much time you're on the phone and will, will do certain things so that you can get off the phone. And people might be wanting to do that more than on your, your, your Apple device where it comes on the iOS. But what Apple's doing is saying, we're going to make it, you know, sort of like when they put that little heart on there and, the, and you had you could track how much how many steps you take right. and that kind of thing. You could easily do it on a Fitbit or on some other kind of device. But Apple's saying, we're going to do this to make it that much easier for you. So well, you, there is opportunities on Android. Ladies and gentlemen, she's the quiet pride of Quincy, Illinois, Sherry Preston, ABC Woo! News correspondent. <laughs> Thanks, the Sherry. The Gem City. The Gem City. <laughs> Have a good day.